Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sitse of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. Today I want us to, to look at diarrhea in our poultry farms. Personally, diarrhea has affected me in my previous flock and uh, today I feel like sharing with you some of the causes of diarrhea, how you can prevent these birds from getting diarrhea and we are going to also mix a number of herbal plants and we see how we can give these birds to protect them from getting this diarrhea and if the birds are already affected by the diarrhea, how we can treat these birds with this herbal, with this herbal remedies. But one thing that you must know is that uh, diarrhea, once it affects your farm, if you don't handle it with care or if you don't take action immediately it you can end up wiping the it can end up wiping the whole the whole flock so every farmer out there or someone out there planning to start this project you must be aware of diarrhea in your poultry farms so please if you're still new don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i'll be smiling so stay tuned till the end and i'll be right back As I told you earlier on, today I want us to look at diarrhea in our poultry farms, okay? So one thing that you must know is that diarrhea is a condition where your birds will pass out very loose or watery stool and it's always accompanied by increase in the volume of defecation. You find that your birds will continuously defecate all the time and the, the poop will be so watery. Sometimes it might even be so bloody, so green very white those are all called diarrhea so as a farmer if you see some of those signs please try to take an action immediately you can either in consult a veterinary doctor or you can go to the veterinary drug shops or, and ask for the ask for the ask for the medicine that you can use and if you've opted to use the herbal remedies just like i'm going to show you today please try to start using them earlier enough to prevent your birds from getting this diarrhea so i want us also to look at some of the causes of diarrhea in our poultry in our poultry farms okay uh, the number one cause of diarrhea in our poultry farm is bacterial infections bacterial infections such as salmonella can affect the digestive tract of birds leading to inflammation and irrit irritation resulting into diarrhea so whenever you see your birds diarrhea please know that it can be a bacterial infection another way another cause of 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 diarrhea in our poultry farm can be viral infections viral infections such as um newcastle disease virus avian influenza virus infectious bronchitis virus can also cause diarrhea in our in our poultry farms so a farmer out there if your birds are diarrheating please try to find out what has caused this this diarrhea okay another 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 cause of diarrhea can be parasitic infections okay parasitic infections such as uh, coccidiosis can also bring diarrhea in our poultry farm and this can be accompanied by bloody poop or brown or brown, brown poop so whenever you see bloody poop or brown poop just know your butts are being affected by the by the parasitic in infection Another factor that can bring diarrhea into our poultry farms is poor feeding. When birds are being fed on unbalanced diets or contaminated feeds, it can lead to it can lead to diarrhea in our in our poultry farms. Feeds which has excessive amount of salt, protein or fats can also cause diarrhea in our poultry farm and digestive issues. So as a farmer, always make sure that the feeds you're giving your birds are well are well mixed with all the nutrients and in the right amount another factor that can bring diarrhea in our poultry farms can be environmental stress uh, environmental stress has a number of things in it number one we have overcrowding of birds in one poultry in one poultry house if you the number of birds are very many in one particular poultry house you you, you it can also bring in 
diarrhea in our poultry farms we have poor ventilation if you're constructing your poultry house make sure there is enough ventilation for the birds to get fresh air in and out then another another environmental stress can can be extreme temperature if the temperature is too hot or too cold is too high or too low it can also bring it can also bring diarrhea in our in our poultry farms so how can we prevent diarrhea from affecting our poultry our poultry farms there are a number of ways we can prevent this diarrhea from affecting our poultry farms number one we have have a good biosecurity uh Having a, I, I think I've talked about biosecurity several times, okay? Biosecurity is the only way, the only way you can prevent most of these factors that bring most of these causes of diarrhea in our, in our poultry farm. Make sure there is a foot bath at the entrance of your farm and make sure you, like for me here, I normally change the water every morning because me, I use a Benson. So every morning before I enter the farm, I pour that water away and put another clean water plus the disinfectant and then someone has to step in that and come inside the, inside the farm. In that way, we shall protect these birds from getting some of these viruses, okay? Even visitors when they come, try to avoid frequent entry of the farm by different by different visitors that come to visit the farm and then another way that you can prevent diarrhea from affecting your farm is avoid infestation of lice and mites from invading your farm because uh, how can you avoid this always make sure that uh, when you're constructing your poultry house make sure there is no entry the most the most thing that brings these lice and mice in these lice and mites in our farms uh that i know is these rodents like cats and and rats so make sure whenever you're constructing your poultry house there is no entry of these rats and cats into your into your poultry into your poultry farms in that way we are going to prevent these birds from getting this diarrhea then also you should always clean your chicken house by by using this lime wash on the walls and on the and on the floor in that way we can also avoid these mites and lice and lice from entering our farms and then another way that you're going to prevent these birds from getting this this diarrhea is by good feeding make sure that uh, the feeds that you're giving your birds are well mixed with all the nutrients and given in the right amount because birds that are, are fed on too much protein excessive salt can always get diarrhea then another way that you can also protect these birds from getting diarrhea is by by cleaning the litter or changing the litter so often okay if it is needed make sure that you keep the litter so dry all the time i've always said that make sure that there is no pouring of water in the house all the time there is no leakage on the rooftop of the of the chicken house because in that way we are going to end up getting coccidiosis so make sure that the litter is always dry and you should always change it me i always change it after four months between four to six months depending on how i see it is it is doing depending on the amount of beddings that you have put in your poultry in your poultry farms and then another way is of course vaccinating of these birds i've always told you that please always vaccinate your birds do not neglect vaccination of birds much as we are going to use these herbal remedies okay we should always vaccinate these birds because this virus is always transferred by other wild birds, by also dogs, or even by humans. So, but when you vaccinate the birds against them, we shall always, we shall always protect these birds from getting this, this diarrhea. And then for those who are keeping local chicken, always separate the chicks from the adult, from the adult birds. Make sure that the chicks always have their growing, growing, growing section separately from the adult. From the adult birds in that way we are also going to try to prevent these birds from getting from getting from getting diarrhea and then um different species of birds should always be kept separate like turkeys like uh ducks 
like pigeons always try to separate them let them live in their different sections and then also do not put too many birds in one poultry in one poultry house well they always say that make sure one four birds in one square in one square meter so always when you want to start up a poultry farm or you want to construct your poultry house make sure you consider that so please for us to avoid the birds from having diarrhea let us not overcrowd the birds in one in one poultry house so this is for those who would maybe feel like eating the birds that have died from their farms. Birds that have died from sicknesses, please do not eat them because these diseases can can transfer from birds to the to the human. Always just bury them or burn the birds. So let's let's go to the herbal remedies that i was talking about we are going to mix charcoal and uh we are going to mix garlic then we are also going to mix we are going to also mix ginger and we mix them together and we give to the to the chicken but as i told you earlier on please try to use these herbal remedies early enough to prevent our birds from getting from getting sick you see me here i i, I really use this herbal remedies a lot in my poultry farm and uh Trust me, I've not got any outbreak. And for those who have been following these birds, you 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 are very much aware that I've not complained that the birds have gotten Newcastle, the birds have gotten I have not complained. So let's try to do that. Try to use the herbal remedies a lot. And actually, even this these herbs do not have any side effects on these birds. You can even decide to give them every day if you can afford. Or you can uh, decide to give them every three times a week or monthly or you know anyhow that you plan to give them please just give the birds so how will i give this herbal plants to the birds okay i will just get the charcoal and pound it this time then get the ginger and also pound it and then i will also get the the garlic and pound it and then i will mix them together and then give them in drinking in drinking water okay uh all this Herbal plants, I've talked about them. If you've not yet watched the videos, please go and watch their videos. You will like the videos. Because I've talked about garlic, all its benefits in our poultry farms. I've talked about ginger, all their benefits in the poultry farm. And I've also talked about charcoal, uh, all the benefits in our poultry, in our poultry farm. So please, if you've not yet watched those videos, go and watch those videos. You will you will learn more and more about this herbal plants so that is how i will give these birds the herbal the herbal remedy and if they are already sick of course i will give them like for seven days but if they are not sick i will give them like three times a week and uh but anyway the truth is these herbal remedies do not have even the dose you just give the way you feel like like if you you just give the way you you feel it is enough for the for the birds okay so that is how you can treat diarrhea in your poultry farm and prevent the diarrhea from affecting your birds but one thing you must know as a farmer is that um, whenever you see any changes in your birds please try to act upon it immediately and as a farmer always just go inside the farm try to check around move around your birds see how the birds are doing okay the birds that are lying down the, the birds that are the birds are that are that that are not walking and they're just sleeping down please try to wake them up see what is going on with them they might be sick okay try to get a bird throw it up see if the birds are responding and as a farmer that is what you're supposed to do do not leave the work this work into the hands of only the workers okay try to get involved in your project by yourself so for today that is all i have for you thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below tell us which country you're watching her from and she'll be smiling see you next time bye bye